By now, you should have your content done for your high schools. And you should have also gone through, like we did in the first project, and put them into um, H2s as well as paragraphs. So while this should be in H1, because it's the biggest heading of our page, each of these should be H2s. You should also have a paragraph as the um, directions um, in Google Documents explain. Now, a paragraph should have five sentences about why you choose this program, why it's a good match for you. If you want to put them in order from first choice to third choice, that's fine. Each um, of your paragraphs underneath should have a bulleted list. Now, there's going to be a problem when you create that bulleted list. I'm going to explain it right now. So, first of all, when you coded it, you should have figured out how to do a bulleted list. And it's going to look a lot like what you did here in the header. Uh, not perfectly, but an unordered list means a bulleted list. And each list item should start with li. So as an example, down here, I've only done one so far for um, uh, Merit Scholars. So, oh, which reminds me, I switched Liquid ATM here to Merit Scholars, so I better change that here. So, um, Lakewood Merit Scholars. I switched it because it was easier to find a bulleted list, honestly, um, for this example. So, Lakewood Merit Scholars, uh, Lakewood Merit Scholars. Okay, so I found, I put a bulleted list in here of features and benefits. Now, you might be like, whoa, how did you do that? If you, you're welcome to take a look at how I did this. Um, or you could just do a web search saying how to make a bulleted list. And once you do that, you'll basically create this. Now, I know it doesn't look bulleted. The reason why it doesn't look bulleted is it's because it's a UL, which means unordered list. Okay, Ms. Milton might get it, um, but why doesn't the bullets appear? Well, it's because we didn't want the bullets to appear here. So up here, there's no bullets. This is also an unordered list. So what you did here in the code um, is that you said, I want my list items to display in line. That took away the bullets and it makes the list items appear in a straight line, which looks really good up here on the top. But it does not look clear here on this part. So sometimes you don't want to style everything the same. I only want these list items to be um, in line. I want these list items to be normal so the, bulleted, the bullets appear. You can code some list items different than others. So, and what I mean by that is you can style some list items to be different. But what you have to do is give them a special name. So I want these ones to be normal. So I'm not going to actually do anything here. Instead, I'm going to change these list items to be special. Okay, they're going to have a special name so we can, we can style them differently. Okay, what we're going to have to do is go down to the first unordered list that you've created. We did this um, with the regular, before we even started. So here's the first unordered list, and you should have unordered lists for each of your schools right now. Um, to make that one appear bulleted, this is what you'll have to do. Uh, we're going to give it a special name. So these ones are going to be um, uh, the, the top header of the page. Top header would be a good name. So this is my header. And these ones that I want to style in line, instead of as a bulleted list, I'm going to give a special name. So I'm going to give them something called a class. As you see, I'm just typing it right in front of href. And I'm going to call this class, really anything would work. I'm going to call it top header, just like this. That way it's given a special name. These ones get a special name of top header. And then I can style these ones differently. So I've also got to do it to um, Lakewood Merit Scholars. And I've also got to do it to McBride here. So um, I'll just copy that part. And I'm going to paste it here. You could also retype it. I think working smarter, not harder, is my motto. Okay, so I've given all of these a special class of top header. 
Now it's not going to change much. All I've did, done is given them a different name. So if your name is um, Robert and you go by Bobby, that's kind of like a nickname for Robert. Uh, this is a nickname for this um, LI item. Oh shoot, I just realized. My mistake. I put it in the wrong spot. So just bear with me. I'm going to, uh, I had to put this in the list item. It's so easy to, to make a mistake here. I put this in the A tag, which means anchor. I don't want to put it in the A tag. I want to put this in the list item because this is what I want to code separately. No big deal. Um, I'm just going to highlight it and press Command X. Command X is a secret. People usually copy, paste, and delete the old one. Command X does it all together. So I'm just going to highlight one and press Command X. And then I can just delete the other one because it's already saved. So I just brought that back. And instead, I'm, giving, I'm putting it in the list item. So put a space, Command V. You could just delete it and retype it in the list item. Sorry for making that mistake. It is common, so um, it, actually you learn from my mistakes. So there you go. Put this in the list item, not the href. All we've given is the list item a special name. Okay, now that doesn't change anything. Everything else looks the same. Ms. Milton, it didn't do anything. It will. Bear with me. So this is a special name, and I only want to make this inline. I don't want to make any of the other unordered list in line. So what I'm going to do is go up here and um, find where you coded the li and just delete li. Once you do that, you'll notice that these are now um, bulleted lists. It's gray. We'll figure out how to fix that later. But these are now bulleted lists. And this is also a bulleted list with bullets over here. You just can't see them. Okay, well, I want to make these the way they used to look. So instead of li, uh, since it's a class, you don't write the word class. You, a period means class. And I call this uh, top header, I believe. Let me just double check. Yeah, top header. You can even copy that. Period means class. And then press Command-V. As you see, now it says that only classes that have the word top header will display in line and have this type of padding. Now, I didn't want this to have a gray box around it, so I might have to switch, change one more thing. Let's look and see what that, why that has this gray box around it. Well, if you made the unordered list like you were supposed to, unordered lists here are coded in the UL to have a background color of this. So that's the reason why it has a gray background color is because it's transparent. I only want that, this is pretty cool up here again, but I don't want this down there. So you guessed it, we're gonna give it another class. You can't give it the same name. So this is an unordered list that I want to style differently. So right here, unordered list, I'm gonna put a space and I'm gonna give it a class and I'll just call it dark. Um, yeah, this is, let me give it a name that means here. So we'll just call it, um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good name. Top header's already taken, so how about um, header line? Yeah, header line, <laughs> that works. So um, header line. So now this is a special name called header line. And so I will go back up here where I styled my unordered list. I only want to make this UL with a background and padding for this one, not these down here. So I'll delete the UL because I don't want to style it that way and call this one header line. Nice. So now this one looks like this. And these ones down here just look normal. I don't really like the way features and benefits look. So let me go down here to um, where I wrote that, features and benefits. Um, hmm. I know what I'll do. I'm going to command exit from there. 
that's better. And I'll just put a colon afterwards. And I'm actually going to call the title of this unordered list an H3. Oops. Ah, oh, that looks good. So these features and benefits are what you can do. Nice. Okay, uh, in our project, like buttons, this is, we're not really making this a blog after all. So even though those like buttons are pretty cool, you don't need to have them. Um, the, like, the like buttons don't really work. So I'm just going to take off the buttons. You're not required to have them for this, but you are required to have a few other things. So one like button, two like buttons. Don't need the like button. I don't want you to have extra codes that you're not using here. Um, we're not using this script if you have a script down at the bottom, so I'm going to delete the script. Okay, so your page should look pretty good. Uh, you don't have any pictures, so unless you've already put them, maybe you have pictures already. Uh, to do the pictures, please make sure, some of you noticed in the last project, that other students or maybe your own pictures didn't appear. That's because your images were not in a public folder. So. I taught you in the last time how to make a public folder and if your folder is public and shared you should have this little man here and you've already set that up if you haven't set that up please make sure that you change the sharing settings of your folder advanced so that public on the web anyone on the internet can view a lot of you had private only you can view and that's why only you could view the pictures on your page Okay, make a separate folder for Dash Project 2, and you're going to put the images that you plan to use on your page. I have this cute picture of dogs. I'm not actually going to use them, but um, I decided I just took these images. I told you before, you're allowed to use any images that are on an LBUSD page for your website. Now that I have them here, I can go ahead and same exact way that I got them before and put them in my project. So control click, copy image address, then I go back to my dash project. Um, maybe I'll put it right here. IMG SRC equals Alright, so I just coded um, Lakewood High School, and if I want, I could um, center this, but uh, you should have an image for each of yours. I actually have more than one image, so um, back, <laughs> where's my, yeah, there it is. So back here, this was Lakewood High School. I just took a screenshot of this. Could do the same thing, cut the image address, and back in dash. I thought I got rid of those like buttons. I must have two open. Oh, I do. Huh. Me. <laughs> I didn't realize I had two open. All right, I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so back here for Lakewood. Put this back. Okay, then here, maybe I have another image. I don't like it there. Maybe I could move the title. There, oh, that's too much of a space. Um, maybe at the end. Anyway, as you can see, uh, this does take some creativity. Cool. I wonder why there's so much space before and after the image. I don't really like that. Maybe I have that with my image um, spacing here. Image border radius. So I'll play with that later. Uh, what I wanted to show you though is if you find a video and you'd like to add the video, it's kind of cool. So, and here's Polypace. And uh, besides putting a picture, I might actually want to put a video. And I just did a search in YouTube. Uh, this was pretty good about a girl's experience in Polypace. The high school Pace Magnet program. If you're a parent or if you're a student looking to go into this program. Awesome video. So I thought we could have this. Um, person's 
belief in ETM on our page. There could be other, this is kind of a long video though, it's 25 minutes. I prefer a, a shorter video, um, but why not? We're just going to show you how to use this video. So to put this video in your project, you're going to click share, and you want to get the embed code. This just gives you the code right here that you can use. Just copy the whole thing, command C. And then I'm going to go to my page, and here for polypaste, I'll just paste that in. And now I have this cool video right underneath polypaste. I probably want to give it a title. So maybe, uh, again, you want to go in order. We already have an H1, we have an H2, H3. And um, H3 can also be for your, for your um, bulleted list titles as well. But H3 for the video, and I would just put... Um, Students experience in pace. So it has a nice title on the top. So it'd be cool if I could find a video for each of the three. Uh, but that's how you could just add a video that works in your page. Now there's a few other things that I want you to do, but you'll have to be creative. I'm just going to go to next slide and see what it looks like full screen. Sweet. Yeah, you're going to have your own top banner. I don't want uh, this guy's. And you're going to have to have um, uh, maybe a picture. It could be LBUSD. It should be some picture that represents high school, not just polypaste, unless all your programs are from one high school. If all your programs are from Lakewood, well, then this might be a great hey, what's up? Girl, Joy. <laughs> uh, picture to show. But if your programs are from three different schools, then you're going to need to have a picture to represent all three different schools. Now, you remember I made you make this blue. The reason why I had you make this blue is not because I want you to keep it blue, but one of the rules is that you need to have three links here, and your links will actually link to each of these sections. But I also want you to have three links within these sections. So there's a link here, which is blue, that goes to the McBride CGI paid. There's a link um, somewhere in the Merit Scholars, which is blue, that goes to the Merit Scholars page. And there's a link somewhere in the PolyPace, which is blue, that goes to the PolyPace page. So I want the, the blue links to be down here. Why blue? Because blue tells your viewer that it's a link. Other colors could be links, but this color blue makes you know that if you click on it, it will go somewhere. It's just sort of the language of the web. Um, I don't want these to be blue, but I already taught you how to make some blue and some not blue. These ones are going to be coded a little bit different than we've learned before, so I'm going to show you that right now. Last thing that I'm going to teach you in this video is how to make these internal links. External links go to different websites. Internal links link to the same website. Okay, um, to do that, I'm going to go over here to my header, and I'm going to have to give uh, each of these um, H2s a special name. Now you've learned how to give it a name um, by doing a class, and class is great because you had more than one thing named top header. Um, you could also give something something called an ID, which means there's only one. So I'm going to give this H2 an ID. Just bear with me. And uh, it's going to be called uh, Polly. And I'm going to give so H the next H2 on my screen an ID. You do it inside the beginning H2. And I'll call this one Lakewood. If you want to call it Merit Scholars because you have two Lakewoods, that's fine. It doesn't matter what you call it as long as you remember what you call it. Um, and the third, H2, an ID. And I'm going to call this one uh, McBride. Or I could call it CGI. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Now that I've given an ID, I can now explain here where I want my to go. So when I have right here where it says Ahraf, I want um, this to go to the poly part. 
Uh, I'll explain in the next video um, how to do the next part so that when you click here, it actually goes to each section.